What's going on, Champside family? Sad news to report that boxer Maxim Dadashev has died at the age of 28 from injuries he suffered during his fight against Sabriel Matias on Friday at the top ring cards. Now, um, Buddy McGirt, who's his trainer, uh, threw in a towel in the 11th round of his bout with Matias, and later Dadashev underwent surgery to relieve a subdural hematoma, a brain bleed, which resulted in him being placed in a medically induced coma. Now, um, you know, it was a very tough fight for him. He took a lot of punishment in this fight. Coming into the fight, he was 13-0 and with 11 KOs. Again, he was fighting out of Russia. Um, 5'10", 70-inch reach, uh, fighting at 140. And uh, the last fight he had before this was 118 days ago, just a little background info. But a lot of people were concerned about how um, he was handled after the fight was stopped. You know, they showed him vomiting and barely being able to walk barely being able to get down the steps from the ring. And they still had him walking, which was interesting. And, uh, you know, Tim Bradley was very vocal about how they handled it. Just a very scary uh, sight, but a reality for boxing, right? And they always say you don't play boxing. And this is one of the cases in which, uh, again, we got a young fighter uh, who had a family, a wife, uh, obviously trying to, you know, these guys fight to get out of their circumstances and to provide a better way of life for themselves right that's exactly what uh, Dadashev was trying to do for his family you know he obviously came from Russia and uh, saw an opportunity here but you know towards the end of the fight uh, he looked real bad um, you know Buddy McGirt is basically begging for him to uh, let him stop the fight and uh, Buddy McGirt just made the call overall and was like you know he'll you know he'll Obviously, he didn't know how things would turn out, but he's basically saying, I'd rather have my fighter mad at me uh, right now than to be mad at me uh, long term. And I can only imagine, man, what the, what his team and what his family is going through, man. Uh, let's show our support for Buddy McGirt and the McGirt family and also and especially and primarily Dadashev and his family. You know what I mean? Uh, this is the risk that fighters take. And so, you know, think about this when you tell fighters you know go in there and brawl it out go to war uh you know forget defense forget moving around and you know the mayweather style just fight just you know just do this do that and uh, go in there i mean you know, the head like like deontay wilder said who i'm sure will get some flack and i already seen people say well uh, deontay wilder needs to think about what he's saying for cases like this and, and maybe that's true but um you know like he said the head is not meant to be hit especially over and over repeatedly with such force you know what i mean uh, fighters are suffering concussions constantly in the ring. Uh, in the NFL, you get a concussion, they take you out the game, and you out, you out for the next two two weeks at least. Uh, in boxing, man, these guys are taking small to large concussions every day. I'm sure in sparring, uh, every time they come into a fight, even if they win the fight, I'm sure they're taking small concussions. And uh, you know, we don't see the effects, but you see the effects long term. And uh, it's just very sad to hear that uh, Maxim Dadashev has passed on and uh, again this is the reality for uh, in boxing um, he was undefeated going into the fight uh, he fought a tough fighter um, he stood toe to toe with a guy and um, you know again it's just it's just sad to hear top rank stable mate uh, Terrence Crawford also spoke out about this just in the last uh, 20 minutes he said wow my heart heavy right now I remember walking to the gas station with Maxim after he weighed in for one of his fights. Prayers for his family to have strength in these tough times because he was a good dude. R.I.P. And he also posted a picture of Dadashev. So yeah, man, like I said, it's sad to see, you know, as he's leaving the ring, you know, he's barely struggling to stand up. And then he also is vomiting as they're trying to put him on the stretcher. Um, it just clear signs uh, that this might not end well for him. So once again, man, RP champ to you. Um, may uh, may whatever faith you may have believed in uh, reside over your family and uh, keep them close. We out.